Hello everyone, you are welcome to Sagan Engineering. Today, in this video, we are going to study about EZW welding. EZW stands for Electro Gas Welding. So, let us start. First, we have introduction. So, Electro Gas Welding, EZW Welding, is an automated welding process. Designed for joining thick vertical metal plates in a single pass. It uses a continuous bare electrode and either shielding gas or flux to protect the weld pool. Water cooled copper shoes retain the molten metal, enabling fast, efficient welding with minimal distortion. It offers high deposition rates and is ideal for large scale projects requiring vertical welds. So next we have diagram. So in this diagram you can clearly see all the parts of EZW welding. Next we have parts of EZW welding. So the first part is power source which supplies the DC current needed to generate heat by electrical resistance in the molten slag. Next part we have electrode. It is a consumable wire or a strip that melts to fill the belt joint. Next part we have guide shoes which is made up of copper, water cooled copper plates that hold the molten belt in place. Next part we have welding head which hold the electrode and guide the process. Next part we have base plate the thick metal plate pieces being welded together next part we have shielding system which uses either co2 or gas mixture or flux to protect the belt from atmospheric contamination next part we have wire feeder which continuously fits the electrode into the belt pool Next part we have cooling system. Water cools key co component to prevent overheating. Next part we have travel mechanism which moves the welding head upward along the joint to ensure even welding. Next part we have control system which regulates current, voltage and movement speed. Next we have working principle of EGW welding. So the working principle of electro gas welding EGW welding involves the continuous feeding of a wire electrode to create an arc that melts both the electrode and the edges of the base plate forming a molten belt pool. This pool is retained and shaped by water cooled copper shoes while shielding gas protects it from atmospheric contamination. The welding head moves vertically deposit, depositing filler metal in a single pass, allowing the molten pool to solidify and form a strong continuous vertical belt. So next we have working principle steps. So steps involved. So the first step is initial setup. Two vertical plates are aligned with a gap and water cooled copper shoes are positioned to contain the molten belt pool. Next step we have arc formation. An electric arc is struck between the wire electrode and base metal, melting both to form the weld pool. Next step we have molten pool retention. Water cooled copper shoes retain and shape the molten metal as the welding head moves upward. Next step we have belt production. Shielding gas or flux protects the belt pool from atmospheric contamination. Next step we have belt solidification. The molten metal solidifies, creating a continuous vertical belt in a single pass. Next we have applications of EGW welding. So the first application is ship building, and the second application is pressure vessels.
and the third application is heat exchangers fourth application is storage tanks fifth application is blast furnaces sixth application is pipelines and next we have advantages of easy w building so the first advantage is high building speed second is no slag removal third is minimum distortion fourth is cost effective fifth is strong joints sixth is automated process so next we have disadvantages of easy w building so the first is high equipment cost second is limited positioning third is equipment complexity and the fourth is requires a skilled operators and fifth is sensitivity to contamination and sixth is not suitable for thin materials next we have safety considerations so safety considerations has some steps which are as follows personal protective equipment that is ppe ventilation and fume extraction fire hazards protection from electric shock safe handling of gases emergency preparedness next we have role of safety the role of safety is to protect workers from hazards ensure compliance with regulations foster a safe work environment reduce the likelihood of accidents enhance productivity protect equipment and materials minimize downtime and promote ongoing safety training and awareness ultimately creating a responsible and efficient welding operation so why this be end up with our lecture so thank you for watching this video if you have still any query or doubt you can write it in comment below the detailed notes of easy w welding is provided in the description below so thank you for watching this video please like this video and subscribe our channel thank you